In the market for a cozy little cottage in the Berkshire Hills? All right, not so little, but it is for sale. This Vanderbilt mansion may be the largest piece of local history we found on our statewide search for unusual ownership opportunities. Whether you're looking for a classic car, 55, 1957, or just the fuzzy dice. How can there only be one pair of fuzzy dice here? We've got you covered as we hit the road in search of New England for sale. This is Chronicle on WCVB Channel 5. Ever thought about owning your own charming little old New England inn? This could all be yours. You gotta be okay with a lot of mill history. Oh, and um, the sound of rushing water. Has anybody ever asked you if you could turn that noise off? Yes. <laughs> I knew yes. it. <laughs> yes, you do get that. Fortunately for potential buyers of the historic Old Mill Inn in the Hampshire County town of Hatfield, the rush of water is a fitting soundtrack to this bucolic scene as enchanting now as it was to owner George Berwick when he settled here in 2013. So you were a tech guy in California, your wife was, was a midwife, yes? What, what brought you guys out here to buy an old B&B in New England? just wanted to change pace, something different. And we wound up looking far and wide for something that was a viable bed and breakfast. Um, this one fit the bill. What makes this unique? The building itself makes it unique. It provides you an opportunity to stay in, in some place that you normally wouldn't be able to stay in. This is a historic factory grist mill has tons of history associated with it. That 200 plus year history includes turns as a Civil War gun factory, an antique store, and early home to the Valley Advocate newspaper before the building was converted to a bed and breakfast in 2006. We've gone through and we've added our own personal touch to each room. It's not a formulaic layout and we made a coffee shop kind of theme downstairs. All the tables are made out of old pallets, so it ties in more with the building. What is your hope for when this is sold? I'm hoping that we'll see somebody take it over that will continue it on as a bed and breakfast. That opportunity will cost you about $1,150,000, but includes the promise of at least one return customer. I would love to see what they did to it, kind of have an experience of my own. Next, we travel 70 miles northeast to Westford on the edge of the Merrimack Valley where Buddy Claire can set you up to drive down memory lane in style. And to see the look on the people's face when they come in and they look at that 59 Ford, that 60 Impala, they don't build a car like this anymore. No. Though this 1956 Chevy would draw stairs just being parked in your driveway, it'll look even better driving down the parkway, as it were, since all these cars have been restored on site and are ready for the road. We've got a fantastic clientele around the Westford area. We've had people, families we sold 10, 15 cars to. Buddy himself can't resist some of these gems and walks me back to view his private collection. Here's a question. Personal collection, yep. are any of them for sale? If the right price comes along, I'll sell anything. <laughs> but there is there's a lot of history that goes That's back. That's a true salesman. When I grew up, I hung around with a lot of guys. I was nine, eight, nine years old. They were all 17 and 18, and they had cars like that, so I had to have one. Now I've got five of them. You oh. buy cars like some people <laughs> buy chewing gum. Yeah, I did. Given Buddy seemed to be in a selling mood, I looked through his collection, and sure enough, identified something in my price range. Now, buddy, I had been looking and looking, and this is the first car, bingo, the fuzzy dice. Fuzzy dice, yeah. How can there only be one pair of fuzzy dice here? <laughs> well, no, we've got a few of them. Follows right back yeah, in the world again. Yep, there you go. <laughs> if you want the whole car, prices run between ten dollars and $100,000, but for classic Chronicle enthusiasts, might I suggest you test drive this 1963 Chevy Impala and do your best Peter Mahegan impression. But remember, if you break it, you bought it, and the price tag is 89,000. Oh, I'm glad you're driving and not me. And back to the Old Mill Inn. It recently sold and is officially under new ownership now. However, it remains an inn, so even though you can't buy it, you can stay there and enjoy the natural white noise of the waterfall. George Berwick, the former owner we spoke with, will be staying in Massachusetts and is shifting his full-time focus to farming. 
Up next, Colonial Bowling Center hosted some of the best candlepin bowlers and Ted Reinstein.